Oh, 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 look at the shoulders on that. Wow. Try to back him up a little. Yep, try to back him up. Monster pike. Look at that thing. Ooh, 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 ooh. Dental floss giant pike. This is hilarious. Oh, goodness gracious. Good job, What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today, sitting here in the living room, it's Caitlin. She's having some coffee. I am not, not a big coffee drinker. Don't roast me in the comments for that. That was not a pun either for roast uh, with coffee. <laughs> oh my God. But today, I am going to be heading up north. Thought I'd start this video a little bit different. Start at home, show you guys kind of a little bit more behind the scenes of us actually getting to the lake and the steps that are involved instead of just like hey guys we're out on the lake here's some fish yeah we're gonna start a little different and today we're going to be hitting a lake way up north actually so i got a, quite a bit of driving and it's pretty pristine there's no cabins no houses anything like that and we are going to be doing a little bit of a challenge actually we came up with this idea this week and we have done this in the past from the title you guys can obviously see what the heck we're going to be doing so what i am going to be doing i gotta get all my stuff i got to make sure the dogs don't come with me and then i have to drive up meet brandon go to walmart get the snowmobile and then head to the lake so stay tuned guys it should be a good one oh Got some snow coming down. Not sure how long that's really gonna last for. Hopefully that doesn't affect the fishing, but I'm in the truck. I am gonna be getting on the road and I will see you guys when we head up north. Alrighty, so made it up north. I'm at my grandparents currently right now, which is where I store my snowmobile in my garage. It's just not big enough for all my toys. So got to keep it up here. Only problem, as you can tell probably behind me, is it's completely covered in snow and frost. And yeah, that's not really good for it, I heard. Normally when I get done fishing, I, you know, I should put it away, but I've, I've just been so lazy lately. And then the time I get done fishing, it's already super late. So I just back the trailer in, call her a day, head on out and go home not sure if it's going to start hopefully this thing has been kind of hit or miss i don't know uh, beginning of the year had a lot of problems with it but now it's starting to seem like it it's running pretty good probably once i start running it you know more and more as the season went on but i'm going to back up the truck attach the trailer i've got to get on out of here i got to meet brandon up north and we're going to get to fishing stay tuned guys i know this is a long road until we actually get to fishing but trust me it is going to be worth it favorite part this thing is heavy as hell especially with the snowmobile on this trail see how much of a man i am oh my god <sighs> it's all the pipes baby oh <sighs> actually wasn't as bad as i thought it was normally i have brandon or somebody to help me but currently there's nobody but myself all right we're all set. We're gonna get back in the truck. We're hitting the road again. Woo! Oh yeah. What's going on, boys? Ladies and gentlemen, it is windy out today. It's nice and warm out, but it's it's gonna be a windy one, I think. We are up north, and it is now time to head inside and uh, find some dental floss. We're gonna be cleaning some teeth on these pike today, I'm hoping. We're gonna see if it holds up. We've done it in the past and it seemed pretty good. Um, we're gonna be grabbing some dental floss inside and just seeing if it holds up, if it's true, similar to braid, how strong it truly is. So let's head inside and see what we can find. Plenty of options. Wow, 
Yeah, plenty of options. And I know from the last time that we did this, what we tested was flavored versus unflavored. It was like just a mint versus regular waxed. And what I'm seeing here today that I think is going to be a better option, rather than doing flavors and scents and stuff like that the last time that we did this, I am finding unwaxed dental floss versus waxed dental floss. So maybe we can get one of each, try them out, not really care about the flavor or the scent or anything like that because we already have shown that Pike, they don't care about what it tastes like or what it smells like or anything like that. Or what's even but, down there. They don't exactly. Know. But if we can get unwaxed, what I'm wondering is if this is going to be a lot easier to come out of that spool when the pike hits maybe we're going to lose less fish if we have something like this or maybe it helps hold it together i don't know i don't know if this is going to be less as strong it shouldn't be but maybe it's something that we got to try out so these are 100 yards each and uh yeah i guess we're going to load up on a couple of these try them out and see what works best well, we're only getting two containers mainly because we're not actually going to spool up the entire tip up with them. Uh, we do plan on using iFish Pros today too, so we are going to be testing out some new frostbite rods as well. But we are pretty much just going to be making liters, like probably three, four foot liters because the true test of the video today is going to be if it's strong enough to actually not break off from a pike. So they do have sharp teeth. We have done this open water for bass. Didn't really have any break offs. Nope. Done this for pike ice fishing before. I Honestly, I haven't watched that video in a minute, so I don't even remember what happened in it, but I don't remember us getting too many break offs. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, let's go catch some fish. Well, moment of truth. Let's see if the bad boy starts. the best sign though. Alright guys, well snowmobile starts, that's the best news that possibly could have happened because we got a mile and a half ride on this thing and then we're not even actually gonna be driving the snowmobile on the lake. We gotta get off and then do some more walking, probably about a half mile walk from there because the snowmobile probably won't be able to get through that stuff. And yeah, so pretty much what I'm saying here is that this is gonna be a full send. I know at this point in the video, we still have not even hit the water and you're probably wondering when is that gonna happen? It's gonna happen right freaking now. We got all the stuff loaded. We're pumped, we're filming multiple videos. So it's not just gonna be the one that you guys are seeing today. We're filming for this entire week. So hopefully everything goes well. You ready to just go kill it, Brandon? Oh, let's do it. Let's go do it. One mile and a half later, and we are finally here where the walking begins. Like I was saying, we're probably not gonna be able to get the snowmobile there. Brandon, turn around, show them why the snowmobile can't make it there. Well, you see, we've got a uh, little bit tree. of an obstacle in our way, so. We already went over a couple, actually. We full sent it over those. This one, just, I'm not gonna be able to full send it over it. So, we got the giant sled, Brandon and I, we're gonna be like mules. We are gonna walk this thing probably another half mile to the lake, so we're gonna get going. We're probably gonna be out of breath and exhausted, but we will see you guys when we get to the lake. Oh, we freaking did her, boys. Oh my God, I'm gonna have a freaking heart attack. That was miserable. That was miserable. One of these days, we are going to die. That's okay, we still do it. We finally made it to the lake. It was a lot farther than we thought it was. A lot of hills. Luckily, lot of you hills. know, like this one, yeah, you that's pretty tell. cool, but there was one like five times the size that we went up. I don't even want to talk about it. So, um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> we made it here. Now it's time to get right into it. We've got a little snow coming down on us here today. A little bit windy, but not as bad as it was before. Now it's just snowing on us. So let's get after it. Let's start getting into some fish. All right, setting up the rods right now for the iFish Pro. As you can tell, I already got my leader line tied to my fluorocarbon. And just to prove we're actually doing it, here's the dental floss, the unwax, and uh, probably just do a liter, I don't know, give or take, this long. Let's see, does this have, oh yeah, it's got a fancy cut thing on it. Look at that. 
doesn't give me much confidence because that thing didn't look very sharp but we're gonna see if uh, this can handle a northern pike's mouth it does seem like it's got some stretch but those teeth are sharp they come in I don't know it'll be interesting but you guys aren't gonna see like the whole setup we're not gonna bore you with that I know this video already is kind of long already to this point so we are going to set up all the iFish pros and the tip-ups and next time you guys see us we're gonna be absolutely sprinting and hopefully getting into some northern pike so here we go we've got the shack all set up behind us here we're finally all set up we've got two iFish pros set up and we've got four tip-ups now we only put the liters of dental floss onto our iFish pros that way we get a good hook set we can fight them with a rod and reel in hand and really get a good feel for it so we've got our first one just went up let's go ahead run over check it out Woo. Oops, that tip-up just went up. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, okay. Whew, now we've got two. This is gonna be my first time. Oh boy, he's running. Oh, he's there, he's there. Yep, definitely there. Holy cow, he's running. First time using the brand new Frostbite Drench. This is gonna be awesome. Whew, here we go. Close the bale, let him catch up. Got him. Nice. Feels decent. I don't know how big. Hard to say on a brand new rod, but holy cow, this feels good in hand. This is nice. Wow, I like the backbone to this a lot. Yeah, the whole thing is really closer. hard. Yeah, he ran, that's for sure. Yeah, he did. He took off on us here. Oh, head shake there. There he is. Oh, oh, oh there we go. Oh, Ooh, cool. Come here, buddy. Don't let him back down the hole. Well. All right. No line break. Whew, no line break. Oh, look at that. Hooked right in the side. <laughs> well, that's probably why. We got lucky on that one. Still a minnow, but that's okay. Let's see if I can get that out of there. There we go. Okay, well, the brand new rods worked great. That pike wanted the old minnow down there. We are losing live bait today. We're just using suckers. I'm gonna go ahead, get this guy back down there right away. Slimy little guy, that is for sure. Probably about eh, 20 inches or so, roughly, give or take a little. Not a massive one by any means, but the dental floss did really, really good. I've got to say, I'm very impressed. Impressed with the new rod. Love using the iFish Pros. The dental floss worked great. I got nothing bad to say about that. Now, hopefully, they just get a little bit bigger. We do have another tip up, so we're going to get this set back up. Let's go check that one out. Okay, here we go. Chance is this thing spooled? No, it's not spooled. Looks like it was a little bit frozen. There's a fish. Got him. Yeah. Didn't, Didn't take out too much line. Bobber. Oh, here he is. Feisty. Very feisty. All wrapped up. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Woo! Hey, buddy. Second pike. This one was not nearly as fun because it was on the tip up and it is a lot smaller. But uh, second flag of the day, we just got set up. Make sure we don't see any more. Nope, nothing yet. These fish in this lake like to uh, make us run. That's for sure, which is, is fine. I enjoy the action, but I'm gonna get this guy unhooked. We are gonna get this one back down there and hopefully get another pike real soon. Definitely a fish. I'll give, give the rods a dangle, see what I think about them. Oh yeah. How's that feel? Oh, it feels nice. It feels way better than the tip up, I'll tell you that much. Grab this one on the edge of the ice. Ooh. Oh. There's that run. There's the run we were talking about. <laughs> I don't think he's that big. No. It's just feisty, huh? Hey, buddy. Come on. Okay, here Woo. we go. Doesn't work for me. All right, here we go. Smaller pike, but man, that's a lot of fun on this rods. Now, like Brandon was saying, this is our first time using the frostbite rods. This is the drench. Uh, we do have some other heavier, dutier ones, but we figure if we're going to be going for pike and uh, really showcasing this dental floss, which as you can see, not a problem. No. Did not even affect it. But 
Um, super light. I mean, it's not supposed to be extremely light. You can tell the tip is, but the whole thing is bent, which I really enjoy because you get the full action of fighting the fish. So definitely a lot better. We need to invest in more iFish Pros so that way we don't have to have any tip ups out. So this is the way to go. But I'm gonna get this guy unhooked. I can't believe how well the dental floss is working. I mean, once I get this guy unhooked, I'll show you guys actually to see if there's any tears or anything in it, but I don't think there is. Quick look, probably 20 inches. Everything's been kind of cookie cutter so far today, which you'll have that on this lake. It is absolutely filled with pike, but I'll say it every time we come out here, we have caught a lot of 40 inches. Not a lot, but we've obviously both caught 40 inches out here. So there is always that opportunity. You just gotta try to get through some of the smaller ones. And you guys pike fish, you're gonna get a lot of flakes. I mean, there's just no going around it. So we did try putting some bigger suckers on, but uh, that one didn't matter, I guess. If you take a look at this dental floss, I don't know how well you can see that, but you can see there's not really that many tears on it. Still holding up pretty good, so that's good to see. And how much did we pay for this even? Like three bucks? Yeah, for Two bucks? both things. For 100 right? yards. Yeah. For 100 yards. So do the math, tip up line, very expensive. I mean, if you want like some eight pound fluorocarbon, you're looking at like $20 on some brands. It is snowing like crazy in my eyes right now. <laughs> it's so windy. You guys get what I'm saying here though, is that if you're using like normal leader line, you're gonna spend a lot of money. Now, I wouldn't go out of my way and say like, for sure use dental floss, but if you're on a budget, it's very cheap and it works. Holy cow, look at that son of a gun. Woo! She's Literally crazy. just, oh <laughs> just made it back to the shack and this one went back up. Holy cow. Oh, it spooled. It just spooled. It okay, literally just we'll close just the bale and set the hook on him. Oh boy. Oh boy, I don't know what's going on here. There we go. Caught up to him. Feels decent. Hard to say when it's at the very end, but oh yeah, there's more weight there. More weight than the first one that I fought. Like Nick said, barely made it back to the shack. Turned around, ooh, there he is. Well, actually, we're going for another tip up on the other side of the lake. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, we've got some runs here. Feisty guy, that's for sure. He's swimming with me this whole way. He's there, I can feel him. <laughs> Wow, he took out a lot of line. Took out a ton of line. Yeah, definitely feels a little bit better. Ooh. Ooh. He snagged him. Oh yeah, he's he's got it snagged here. Oh, there it goes. That's a better fish. Yeah. Definitely a better fish. He had it snagged. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. Oh man. Now in this situation. Okay, well that's showcasing the rod. Wow. <laughs> Alright, so in this scenario, we probably you see he might get caught on the ice here. Here he comes. Oh yeah, that's a nice, oh, that's a nice pike. That's gotta be mid -less. Oh no, that's 40. That's gotta be 40 almost, dude. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Same exact spot I caught mine. On dental floss. On Don't dental floss. Oh yeah, I forgot completely actually we're doing that. Oh my God. <laughs> dude. Dental floss. Yours came on a hot dog and this giant is on dental floss. Okay. Oh my gosh, I need to start taking this real serious real fast because... It's nice. It's nice. <laughs> not small. Not small. Look at that. I mean, it's just... Oh. He's, he's going to have a hard time getting up the hole. I'm going to have to assist you. Oh my god, that thing's massive. Hold on, i got to set the camera off of this. I'm just trying to basically tire him out at this point. That way, next time his, his head comes up towards the hole. Yeah, I'll try to land Because it's going to be really hard to try to turn them up on it. Yep. It's big. Did you see it? Oh yeah, I saw him. 
I think he's got it caught on the ice right now. Do you want to? Oh, there he goes. He got it. This is a giant. We're fishing a rock bar too, if you guys are curious on what we're set up. A lot of big pike on rocks. I know a lot of people like to think weeds. Trust us on the rocks though. Here we go. Oh, 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 look at the shoulders on that. Wow. Trying to back him up. Yep, trying to back him up. Monster pike. Look at that thing. Oh, 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 Dental floss, giant pike. This is hilarious. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, I almost don't believe it. I can believe it. <laughs> This is a monster. Oh, oh. He's hooked on the ice, but he's right here. Back him up again. Oh yeah, that's all of 38 at least. Yeah. It just came off. He broke. Dang it! No! Oh! Oh my oh. God. No, 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 no. Um oh. That was that was all 40. All of oh. <laughs> Well oh, guys, oh. uh we got another tip up I see, but I'm I don't even care about it. We still have that other one too. That was 40. Oh easily. I wish I wish I could have seen that. I, know. I don't know if I recorded it. I mean, I kid you not, the shoulders on this thing, guys, it, it was this. I mean, it was all of, it was all of that. Uh, oh my God. Well, we've got another. We, we got, were hyping we up that dental floss. Uh, yeah. Guys. Um, well, here's the problem. Well, dental he, floss will work, okay? Dental floss will work, but when you've got a fish that's this. possibly 40 this. plus and look at how many and the runs. shoulders are like this well look at how many runs and how many times we had to try because yeah. his head was almost as big as this hole so we had to try to because he he wasn't coming like this he was coming like this and then i'm trying to force him up i had his head just crowning the bottom of the hole and then he, he just went like this and you got to think how many times he did that yeah you know it was like four or five times he made serious runs and it just clipped <sighs> We just lose we, a 40. <laughs> we, we saw it though. I wish you guys, hopefully you could see it when I was recording, but let's, Big get, the, let's get those other flags. Yeah, we gotta go get to those other flags right now. Oh. He's gone. He was just there. Gone? <sighs> yeah. Really? Ooh, and he dropped the minnow. Yeah. Wow, that's surprising. You look heartbroken. I yeah, I didn't even have that fish, and I'm still heartbroken for you. <sighs> yeah, I had it in my hands. <sighs> you know that's fishing though. It's a bummer. It is. Unfortunately, you know those those type of things happen. You know if we wouldn't have been using dental floss, filming a challenge video. No, I can't say that. You never know. I mean, that's why we do the stuff we do because it's fun and entertaining. We do have one more tip up that is up. So we're gonna go tend that. Probably gonna be our last flag because, not that we're going home, but uh, we are gonna be switching gears. We are gonna be setting up four walleye. So we gotta take all the leaders off of the tip ups. Uh, we gotta redo that iFish Pro. Take the dental floss off. Spoon everything up with eight pound fluorocarbon for some walleye. So if you guys want to see a walleye video stay tuned for later this week you will be seeing it hopefully i mean never can say if there's going to be fish biting but let's go get that flag and uh see if we can catch one more fish the last flag the last flag oh he's here that's a good sign it's like he knew he waited got him i don't think he's massive but feels okay oh 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 <laughs> he does not want to come up this hole that is for sure really buddy all right, listen, I'm not giving you the option. No, I said no. <laughs> okay, last pike for us today. Well, 
can't say that for sure, but last pike you guys are gonna see in this video. We had a blast. I know this one's not 40, and man, it would have been awesome. I just to wish have that they would have been able to see it. I know. You know I, know I don't we... know how well you guys will be able to see the footage of that last fish, but I'll tell you what. I, I almost didn't believe how big it was. When I looked down that hole and you could barely see any water at all. All you could just see are the shoulders of this fish. And I'm like, oh, that's that's a big one. <laughs> all right. There we go. One last look at them. Send them back. They can't all be 40. You know what I mean? They got to start somewhere. Oof. I wish they all could be 40. <laughs> I do too. I but wish they were then all you giants. Chase them, but yeah, exactly. Obviously, the goal is to get a 40 incher on top of the ice. That's what we all dream of. But uh, and it was so close. I, it was I literally, literally like I had my in hand your hand. On it. I had it. I had it on its head. Ah <laughs> oh, man, that is crazy. But I'll tell you what, the dental floss does work. There's no doubt about it. We caught fish on it. Can it handle a fish of of that size, of that caliber? Maybe, I mean, maybe we could have milked that it, fish out a little bit more. And yeah, technically we did have it out of the hole, but we didn't catch that fish. As much as it sucks to say, we didn't catch that fish. Today we did use the unwaxed dental floss. We did catch some fish. We lost a freaking 40 incher, but it happened. Of course, that's the only break. -off. I know, of course, that's the only break off of the day is on a freaking, and who knows, I'm just saying 40. I mean, it could have been 38, 39. It could have been 42, 40. I don't know. We've seen huge. monsters out of this lake. If guys. it was big for us and we've caught multiple yeah, 40s out of here. Right. And the thing, honestly, here's the big thing though. That could have been the fish that you caught on a hot dog years back. It could oh, have been. Easily, it, yeah. it really could have been. So, you know, who's to say? That fish was 40 back then. It, it probably was 41, spot. maybe 42. Exact same spot. Like that hole almost couldn't have been any closer to where that one was drilled, you know, years ago. So, uh, and that one came on a hot dog. Like we said, literally just boop down the hole with the hot dog, turned around, couldn't believe it. So, and, and here we are, can't believe it. It just happened again, possibly. Who knows, maybe it was another one. There's a lot of big fish in this lake, which is good to see. So we're gonna go ahead, get this all fixed up. It's starting to get dark on us. We have got to get ready for some walleyes. I can't guarantee how that's gonna go just because it's snowing, it's doing weird stuff with the pressure right now, but we are hoping for a banger night of walleye fishing. So let's get this all set up, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm sorry that we couldn't get that big one above the ice, but it's gonna happen again soon. That's why we come out here and do what we do. If you guys enjoyed the challenge, let us know down below in the comments section. We'd really, really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. We got a ton of videos coming right at you. We're not quite done ice fishing and spring honestly isn't that far away. So stay tuned for more Tight Lines from NB Edits.